Hello everybody, this is SoyaChinchow.com and we're going to unbox the Asus Zenfone 4, a very affordable smartphone that's priced at just 299 ringgit. After playing around with a couple of cheap and cheerful smartphones, the Zenfone 4 breaks an even lower price barrier, below 300 ringgit. The build quality and specs are quite impressive for this price range and it even comes with additional battery inside the box. Without further ado, let's unbox the Asus Zenfone 4. First, we need to cut a couple of seals at the opening of the box. Once that's done, we can slide out the contents where you find the Zenfone 4 right at the top. So this is the white color version. Let's put it aside first. After opening the top flap, you'll find a bunch of warranty and other user guides which you probably won't read. So let's just put it aside first. Moving on, there are two batteries inside the box, which is quite a generous bundle from ASUS. The battery capacity is quite small at 1200mAh, but it is a good thing that it provided a spare in Malaysia. Next, you find a 3 prong charging adapter, which comes with this folded middle pin for a more compact design. In terms of output, the charger is pushing about 1.35 amps, which is better than most chargers for entry-level devices. And finally, you get a micro USB charging and data transfer cable, which is pretty standard. And that's it, and there's no set of earphones provided in the Zenfone 4, which is quite okay considering its price range of 299 ringgit. So this is the Zenfone 4 in white color, and let's unwrap the device. At the back here, they included an illustration to show you how to open the device back cover. To open the back, you just need to use your fingernails to pry open the back like this. It is quite tough to open it, but probably it gets easier after time. Once it's open, you'll find a micro SD slot at the top over here, which supports up to 64GB. Meanwhile, the dual SIM slots are placed at the sides and it uses the newer micro SIM format. Alright, so let's try to switch it on by popping in a battery into the Zenfone 4. The battery is wrapped quite tightly like a thin of chocolate wafer. Let's see, try to get it out. And here it goes. Once you pop the battery right in, the phone vibrates slightly just to let you know that the battery is connected. Now let's put the cover back on, and you have to press around every corner to make sure it fits in properly. Alright, so that's done, so let's switch on the device by pressing and holding the power button at the side. While waiting for it to boot, let's take a quick look around the Zenfone 4. On the right side, the power button is placed at the top, while the volume rocker is located right below it. Turning to the front, the bottom piece stands out with this Zen diamond cut design which comes with circular patterns. And you also get the back, home and contextual capacity buttons at the front which isn't illuminated. The back comes with a 5 megapixel camera with a flash but it is capable of shooting 1080p HD videos. The micro USB port is on the left side and there's nothing else at the bottom except for a hole for microphone while at the top, you'll find a standard headphone jack, and that's pretty much it. Now that the Zenfone 4 has boot up, let's try to skip through this setup process and bring you straight to the home screen. So that's it. This is a quick unboxing with the Zenfone 4, and we kind of like this matte surface at the back, and stay tuned for a hands-on review later on. Thanks for the likes, thanks for the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This is SoyaChinchow.com, and see you guys later.